Hi, I'm Julie here at Green Acres Nursery and Supply and today it is all about September Garden Care tasks. What's great about September is by the end of this month, believe it or not, we're going to be cruising mostly in the 80s, which makes us think that we and our plants might just make it through in one piece. Since it's warm but not insanely hot, there's a lot you get to do in September. We're going to talk about ants and we're going to talk about trees and shrubs and we're also going to talk about putting down lawn seed. So for the ants, let's talk about the ants that are outside. First of all, a decent word about ants. They're not all as bad as you think. They move as much material and fertilize your soil as much as earthworms do. However, if it's getting a bit out of hand, remember that there are two times a year when ants tend to be the biggest nuisance. One is in the spring when it's raining a whole lot. The soil is super saturated and they're drowning. That's when you see them picking up all the kids, throwing them in the minivan and trying to find someplace a little bit dry. The other time of year is now, when your soil is not just a little dry, but maybe dry down a foot, maybe even down two feet. That's when ants start to make their colonies. Now here's the great thing. How you take care of excessive numbers of ants is the exact same method you're going to use to make sure your plants are healthy. So here's how it works. If the ants are moving around like crazy because it's soggy, and you put your finger in your soil and you found out it is wet all the time, that means you need to adjust your irrigation so that you're watering longer but less often. If it's this time of year and you have excessive ants because the soil is exceptionally dry, your, ant, your plants are very unhappy and the ants are acting up. By moderating how you water a little more often, a lot longer, but let your soil dry out an inch or two beneath the soil before you water again. This is how you make your plants happy and get rid of too many ants outside. Ants in the house, however, is slightly different. There's no reason to tolerate even a one. So, the first thing you do when you find ants inside is go outside the house and patrol. Look on the side of the house for that trail that's sneaking in. Find out where their entrance is and seal that entrance up using whatever material is recommended for the type of housing material you have. The next thing to do is when you look outside, if you have, here's the house, and you've got mulch and plant litter hard up against the house, you've created this nifty covered safe highway for our ants, termites, and zillions of other insects to walk safely right to your house and come in and say hi. Pull that stuff back away from the house a little bit. Usually, fingertip to wrist is enough distance. And if you remember, that's always what we're asking you to do with your plants that are out there. Never have mulch hard up against them either because it's that nifty, covered, secure highway for insects to walk right up into your tree as well as risk inducing rot. All right. How about this? Your lawn has been looking a little bit dicey. You're a little bit worried about the looks you're getting from the neighbors. Now is the time you get to fix it because now is the ideal time to put down lawn seed because your soil is still warm but the temperatures are no longer insane. Which means with warm soil temperatures you get the best germination rates of the whole year, hands down. And because the temperatures aren't horrible, those little sproutlings aren't going to die because it's not going to be 95, 100, and 105 degrees. You're going to give you a brand new lawn a chance to develop a huge fat root zone and a beautiful green top. And over the fall and the winter, it's going to get huge, it's going to get beautiful, and your lawn is really going to make it through next summer. Now's the time. Then there's also a caution. Pre-emergence. A lot of us use them and they're sold as weed seed preventers, but the truth is they are seed preventers. They're not picky. And most pre-emergence last for 90 days. So let's suppose you were putting down lawn seed on October 1st. You need to count back 30 days, 60 days, 90 days previous. The last time you could have put down pre-emergent then was July 1st for the new lawn seed to be successful. Also the other direction, you planted October 1st, count forward 30, 60, 90 days. The soonest you can put down pre-emergent then would be January 1st. 
then this is the time of year to put in your major landscaping trees and shrubs again and I know I'm getting a little boring but it's because the soil is warm and the temperatures aren't awful when you plant those plants now let's suppose you did it October 1st let's count forward October November December January February March April May June you're going to give those plants at least nine months of growing time to double and triple their root zone, to double and triple their canopies, and that's a plant that's gonna face next summer's horror show with grace and dignity. Give them the gift of time to become mature, develop that they need to, and then they're gonna be really, really successful. September is an incredibly busy month. There is a lot you can do with the lawn, a lot you can do with trees and shrubs. Please come on and see us. We're here, we're ready. This is an exciting time of year for us too and we can't wait to share it with you. And we're always available at idiggreenacres.com.